What's up, everybody? Doc Dog 1985. There's levels to this. All right, so check this out. Just want to make a quick video. Julian, I told you I was going to make a video, dude. Keep it down. Man, disrespectful. My own house. Ju Julian, keep it down, man. All right, so Doc Dog 1985. Yo, there's levels to this. And when you got kids, different levels. Anyway, so I saw this uh, this video. Just ignore him in the background. I right? just listen to my voice. Don't even pay attention to him. He's playing Roblox. It's all good. Don't worry about it. He's a gamer. Anyways, so saw this video, and it talked about how the Nintendo Switch does not need to compete against the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, right? And when I first saw this video, I thought, I, I immediately, my head went to what Phil Spencer said about Microsoft not worrying about Sony and not worrying about the the PS5. And you guys know how I feel about that video. I feel like he's wrong. Like he should worry about the other two companies that are legitimately making video games. Like Xbox is a video game console. How are you not going to worry about Nintendo and Sony? It's almost like a little bit disrespectful if you ask me. And talking about you worried about Google and Amazon. Google is not a threat to anybody. Not right now at least. Google Stadia I, look it up yourself. You don't got to believe me. And Amazon, tell me if I'm wrong. I have no idea what system they have out or what system is coming out. I don't. Maybe they know something that I don't know. But regardless, they want to just focus on the cloud gaming. Julian, can you lower that, Julian? Lower it. I told you to lower it, bro. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you. I don't know what it is about Roblox. It's like you can listen to music or something and actually play. I don't get it. I don't understand Roblox. I don't understand TikTok. I'm just old, so there's a lot of stuff I don't understand. But anyways, what I do understand is that Microsoft is in competition with Sony and Nintendo. But regardless, Nintendo though, right? Nintendo Switch specifically, not having to compete against the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. The more I think about it, the more it makes sense. Because the Nintendo Switch can't compete against the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. But I'm going to tell you why the Nintendo Switch could possibly be the most important console of next generation. You want to know why? I know you do. If you haven't switched off the video, I know you do. This is why. Because the Nintendo Switch would be a great accessory, can coexist with the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. And this is how. If the rumor becomes true that the PS5 is going to be able to stream to the Nintendo Switch. If the rumor becomes true that Xbox uh, X Cloud is going to be able to be to stream to the Nintendo Switch. That is a huge victory for Nintendo because whether you buy the PS5 or the Xbox Series X, why would you not get yourself a Nintendo Switch? Why would you not? A Nintendo Switch Lite. Why would you not? So that you have the opportunity to stream games when someone else is using the TV or when, whenever you just can't use the actual console for whatever reason. You can actually play the game in handheld mode, right? Now, in a perfect world, obviously the controllers are not the same. The Xbox controller is way more comfortable. The PS4 controller is way more comfortable than the Nintendo Switch. But it's the ability to be able to play the game that's really going to sell that, right? And we could even take it one step further because now NVIDIA is going to have their streaming service. What if NVIDIA was able to stream to the Nintendo Switch? Now you literally will have a handheld system, a legit handheld system, the Nintendo Switch, that is legitimately made for gaming, that you can play all platforms on one device. That, to me, is genius. The fact that Nintendo is in that position. Now, can Nintendo mess this up? Yes, they can. They can mess it up by allowing Alienware to drop the Alienware UFO before they even do any of the stuff that I'm talking about. And then the Alienware has that ability where it can stream uh, Steam games, where it can stream Xbox. I mean, it's going to be a PC technically, right? The, the Alienware UFO, so it should be compatible with the Xbox X Cloud, anyways. And the PS4 right now can stream to PC, so I don't see why the PS5 wouldn't be able to stream to PC. So literally, this Alienware UFO thing is probably what can threaten the Nintendo Switch the most. And even if it's expensive, but it has the ability to do that over the Switch, it might be worth it. So, Nintendo, number one, you probably should hire me, because this is genius what I'm talking about right now, right? But I don't know exactly how to do it. 
So I, I'm just I I give you many ideas, but I don't know exactly how to do it. You're gonna need somebody with the gift of gab to go talk to Sony and be like, Julian, and be like, Yo, Sony, what up, dog? Me and you, me and you together. Come on, man, let's do this. You know, smooth talk Sony into it. Be like, Yeah, that's that's a nice controller you got right there. Yeah, let me see, let me hold that controller. Damn, yeah, yeah, that's not. Yo, Xbox, what's up, Microsoft? Yeah, yeah, I, I like that tower. That tower looks nice. Yeah. You know what will make this system even better? If you streamed with us. So, again, the most, possibly the most important console of next generation, in my belief, is the Nintendo Switch. Because of the possibility of being able to stream PS5 games and Xbox Series X games. Because, again, like I said, if you buy a PS5, why would you not get a Nintendo Switch? If you buy an Xbox Series X, why would you not get a Nintendo Switch? If that's available. Now, I know what some of you are going to say. Some of you are going to say, well, I got a cell phone already. I got a tablet already. I got XYZ already. That's probably going to be able to stream. I don't know about you, but I hate, I hate pairing my controller to my phone. I can't stand it. I hate pairing my controller to uh, a tablet. The only thing I pair my controller to is to my laptop, and that controller is specifically for my laptop. So unless you're going to be carrying around your phone and a freaking Xbox controller or your phone and a PS4 controller... I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You know what the Nintendo Switch has already attached to it? Controllers. Here's another thing too, right? People, not everyone that owns a phone and not everyone that owns a tablet is a gamer, right? So some people are not going to want to download your, 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 your app for the PS5 or your app for the xCloud or whatever. If someone owns a Nintendo Switch... Listen to this. If somebody owns a Nintendo Switch, they are a gamer. So the possibility of them wanting to play your platform on their stuff is probably higher than someone that just has a tablet. I'm just saying. It makes sense to me. So, Nintendo, make this happen. And at the end of the day, go talk to NVIDIA. See if NVIDIA wants to allow you to stream their stuff. Go talk to Steam. Go... Whatever you got to do. And I think the Nintendo Switch will be the most important console of next generation if this is possible. Can you imagine getting a Nintendo... Why would you not buy a Nintendo Switch Lite just to have one around? Just in case this is a possibility. Makes sense to me. Doc Dog 1985 there's levels to this. Leave in the comment section why I'm wrong. We out. Peace.